There is one positive story that I want to focus on tonight on the news today at 9. It's the story of a lady called Bino Zephine. She's the first 100% visually impaired officer appointed into the foreign service in its history of 69 years. Unlike other blind aspirants who depend on braille books, the 25-year-old from Chennai took to job access with speech, a software that assists visually challenged to read from a computer screen. She credits her parents for her success and she's our showstopper and she's joining me live tonight. Bino, appreciate your joining us and I want to say amidst all the negative news, what a wonderful story. How, how do you feel today, having become the first woman, the first person visually impaired to have become an IFS officer? Tell us the feeling today for you. You're smiling. That's great. Good evening, sir. Uh, I feel great. When I got the mail from the Ministry of External Affairs saying that I'm the first 100% uh, visually challenged person in India, to be selected to enter into IFS cadre, I really felt proud and uh, I, my heart just gets filled with a sense of gratitude uh, towards the government of India, the Prime Minister of this country and the Chief Minister of uh, my state and every member who has really, really helped me to reach this particular destination. But who do you really give credit? For a moment, let's forget all the politicians. Who do you really give credit? Is it your family? Was it the fact that you took this job access with speech, a software that assists visually challenged to read from a computer screen? What was for you the turning point that enabled you to scale this mountain peak? Sir, I write from my childhood, at least from my 11th and 12th standard, I just say I might not have vision, but I have a vision to become a civil servant. So I think that sense of determination, that sense of perseverance has, uh, uh, you know, really enabled me to reach this particular place, sir. And, and, and uh, how long did you have to study for it? How long was this exercise, this, this vision that you had to become a civil servant? Was it from childhood that you wanted to become one or when did that, when did you decide to become a civil servant? So, like any other child, I too had different aims, like I just wanted to become a lawyer, I just wanted to become a lecturer, but from my 11th and 12th, strangely, some, you know, the aim of becoming a civil servant just, uh, you know, it entered into my mind and it mixed with, it got mixed with my blood. So, uh, when people wasted water, I just used to advise them, please don't waste water, and people just call me, oh, are you a collector to advise us? So from that moment, uh, you know, every single event that happened around me and right. my family, everything got clubbed together. Every single factor uh, has uh, and made me to prepare for this examination. Sir. And, 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 and what is your goal now? Now that you are joining the IFS, do you hope to be one day foreign secretary? Well, what would you like to do next? What's the next big challenge? Sir, um, I am just 25 years old. So when I enter into the system, I really need to understand the system with the guidance and the help and the support of my senior officers. Right. So with that guidance, whatever best I could do, I would definitely uh, discharge my duties with utmost sincerity, dedication and determination. And sir. you don't see yourself in any way suffering from a handicap, right? Yes, sir. Sir Great. Helen Keller once said, I cannot, I cannot do everything, but I can do something. I will not refuse to do that I can do. So I thought that I, Benozef in NL, would be able to achieve right. something and enter into the prestigious civil services of this country. So I did not refuse to do it, sir. I have done it. You've done it. You've conquered a peak. We are very proud of you. Congratulations today. You've lifted you so my much, spirit. Sir. In the midst of the depressing news, Thank you've you. given me something to smile about. Wonderful story, Bino Zephine. Go from strength to strength. May you be an inspiration for many others. Thanks very much for joining me.